Right, in this video, I'm trying to take off this um, Honda Civic's Mark 8 rear rotor, and we've got two screws in the way. And also on this rotor, we've got two places where we can put 8mm bolt to help retrieve it out of the hub. That's fine. Uh, what we're concerned with is these little screws need to come off first. Always handy to have a spare because we do, looking at that that may, looks like diamond here the thread is really deep but uh, these ones here are uh, well they're not really deep at all and the, the, the ultimate screw I need I'm uh, sorry the ultimate drill I needed was the four mil and four mil fits nicely in there you want one that is smaller than the diameter of the not even the thread really the inner thread of the screw so I used 4 mil. so it's how to drill out these stuck screws on a rotor and they'll all be kind of pretty much standard size so first we need to do see I've already done that one there first I'm going to a bit more room need a few bits and pieces got some penetrating oil some cutting oil you can get these at um, tool station quite cheap brake cleaner because what you don't want at the end you need to clean these threads up because if you've left uh, metal shards on there that might be a good thing because they will just kind of go funny on you when you try and put the hub wheel nuts on right so need a drill and I would recommend using a drill bit that you are not you are willing to kind of destroy yeah uh, to start with just to get just to get the edge off that that screw because you don't want that catching on any blades right so i've got a really big 10 this must be a 10 mil safety glasses gloves on safety glasses and I should really do this with all the brakes on I should try and do it with all the brakes on it'd be easier but I'm just gonna round it off it's not too loud, but I think you need air defenders. So this is high speed steel drill bit, but usually they're not good enough. So I'm just rounding it off because I don't want the drill, drill bit catching on it. So when you drill out a screw that's stuck, what happens is it weakens it internally, then you can undo it. And the tool you need to undo it finally is a tool like this. So when you screw it on, Counterclockwise, it digs in, it's got a reverse screw in it, and they come in a pack like this screw extractor set. And I'll just use the middle one now. Alright, so a little bit more. I could put cutting oil on it. So I don't mind, this is an old drill bit, I don't mind running it off, which I have done. So now I use my decent drill bits, these are cobalt. Is that like £23 from uh, Machine Mart? Okay, so I'm picking a smaller size now. I just want to get rid of that, that cross plane on there. Right, so. Oh, let's get some cutting oil. Give yourself plenty of time to do this. quick job the slower you take the better it is see how it's still catching so just use it in see how much quicker this drill bit cut you want a slow speed right slow speed is all you need So really it's made a mincemeat out of that screw. You know, sometimes they might even give up like right now. It's worth trying uh, to see if we can do it. No, nope, it's not giving up the most. So that's kind of smoothed off already. The cobalt drill bits are more expensive but 
These are the ones I recommend for for car repairs. Just testing a bit. Really make a mince meat out of that. A little bit. You don't want to go too deep. So. Right, that's the top end gone. I'm going to do too much, I might start affecting other areas I don't want to affect. That's that. Now, so I've gone from, what did I give you the size? I used a 9mm. It was a 10, wasn't it, earlier? It's a 9mm. Now it's worth using a. Let's have a look. It's a 9mm now. The 4 is the ultimate one I want to get to, but the thing is, that extru uh, drill bit extractor is not going to fit in there. It's not going to fit in that hole on 4 mil. but then again, too deep and I'm going to have trouble, right? I'll cut the threads instead. Okay. So again, slow speed. So like it's running out of juice. I could do with using my other drill. We'll use it until it runs out. So this is five mil now. So I'm not going to try going too deep. That we do. That we do. So five mil. Swap to a four and a half mil. Nope, can't just swap the four and a half mil. Four and a half mil is broken. Broke off on another job. I wonder if I can do it in one take. So it's nice and central. Got no oil. To go quite deep. Take the time. This sort of speed is fine for cutting. I went in last time to get the other screw, maybe half a centimetre. Make sure it's spot on. See, when the brakes are on, it's much easier. Right, so I'm going to carry on doing that. With a four. Right, so it's a, it didn't go very deep because I didn't go that deep last time and uh, managed to do it. See so if I can get the tip of that in there first. That's where they get a grip. So, no. It's not gripping. As soon as it grips, it might turn it. We really need a vice to take it off. Or a pliers to take it off if it does grip. So, needs this outer hole to be bigger. The inner hole changing drills now. So cut through that quite easily. Try again. Make sure I don't go too deep. It's not catching yet. I haven't got four and a half otherwise I'll be using that. Looking a bit dodgy yet. Be careful. Slightly catching. When it goes tight, obviously it's catching. And then we'll dig deeper. Make sure you don't do that, drop it. These things are probably very brittle. Oh, did you see it? I think the screw actually turned. Yeah, see that? See that screw? Gave up the ghost. Alright. Yeah. Well, the top of it gave up the ghost. Which is not good because the bottom of it's still in there. Uh, 
there, so it's like this whole top just fell off. Alright, so I could drill it. I prefer it if it didn't do that. Um, Alright, so it fell off anyway, so I haven't ruined the, uh, the hub thread on at all. But I'm going to carry on, I need to get that thing out. So I'm going to go in with a four. And as I drilled this through, the whole thing is falling right through. Don't do it too much. Falling out the back. You can see that. What's going on there? It's falling right out the back. So I'm pretty sure I'm not touching the threads. There we go. Alright. Let's see. I'm going to test it. I'll clean it down. The brake fluid comes uh, brake cleaner comes in. So it's good. Right, so that's how you drill out. And I'm giving you the measurements of the drill bits I'm using. The uh, stuck uh, bolts on retainer bolts on a hub I mean a disc all right so that, that will apply for most of the cars it will be the same measurement because I bought these for a different car and this fits this car though looking at it I thought it was a different size but all the same size now if if that then they'll come off I would have put an 8 mil bolt in there and then uh, screwed it in because there's a thread in there that's not visible and it would have popped it off, it would have pushed against it. Right, so thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.